All right, welcome back inside the Now Morning Show, ladies and gentlemen. It is just about two minutes before seven o'clock, so I hope that you had your coffee already. And if you didn't, now is a good time to organize your coffee and start making your breakfast and get your day started the right way. Thank you for being here with us to do so this morning. It's Friday, and we're discussing cricket. And we have with us Mr. David Fulong, who's the, the coach for the Red Force, the Trinidad and Tobago yeah. team. And I'm curious, though. Re recently, they dropped the, the list of names for the West Indies ICC T20 cricket team. Mm -hmm. What are you thought about that list of names? Well, I don't think there were many surprises in there. Yeah. Um, you know, the only change, because West Indies for the last three or four series have been sort of building a team. The only changes you see is that Ravi Rampal came in for Fidel Edwards. Right. And Ross Sanchez, who is doing well in the CPL, came in for young um, St. Clair as the, of the off-break bowler. Mm -hmm. um, while I might not agree with some, some one or two of the selections, you know, but I, I'm not surprised by, by the team that, that was selected to go. I think it's a strong team, um, and it will just be for the batsmen, I think, mainly to, to get off. All right. Well, uh, this morning we have with us Mr. Colin Murray, who is a former national cricketer and a sports commentator. Uh, commentator sorry. And he's going to be chatting with us just about that, actually, the best in these prospects at the T20 World Cup. Good morning to you, Mr. Murray. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Well, I'm doing well, but I want to know why you have on that shirt. Because you Thank celebrate you. greatness, sir. That's why. Thank sorry? you. You don't, you don't celebrate greatness? Well, uh, I'm not sure that blue and white can He unfortunately went to Fatima. Oh, you have the same problem? You went to Fatima as well? No, I'm no, so sorry to hear that. You know, um, um, you know I, I think you could have put on something better than that, surely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it has me a little perturbed. But you know what? I'm going to get over that. I'm just looking at your face. I'm going to try to concentrate. I'm going to try and concentrate on your forehead. I think that's the best thing to do. But, but anyway, let's go back to the topic. Right? Let's go back to the topic at hand. We talk, this, this is bigger than, than our school rivalry. This is West Indies T20 cricket is what we're talking about this morning. Uh, tell me yeah. about your, your opinion on the team that was selected to go forward. Well, I think there's been no surprises, really. When I say there's been no surprises, they, they have shown their hand uh, over the last couple of uh, international matches where they've uh, chosen certain players and they just sort of had a mind they would have gone with those players. Um, you know, some of the players are obviously I don't agree with. I, I had done my own selection um, and I had picked uh, 12 of the 15 to go. So okay. that's not too bad. Um, there were three players that, um, that are on the team that I don't have, which is uh, Chris Neal. Um, I didn't have Ravi Rampol and I did, don't have O'Shane Thomas. Um, now, of course, everything is very subjective. You will pick a team and um, I, somebody else will disagree with it, etc., etc. Um, so, you know, there, there are a lot of, of, of pundits out there that are not happy with the, with the composition of the team. Um, my, my problem is that you, you pick some guys uh, that, that really are not showing form, that, that, um, that I, I, you don't see the value they're going to add to the team. And, um, you know, we could get into the specifics. For example, Christopher Gale, um, a, a wonderful servant to West Indies cricket in all formats of the game. Mm -hmm. um, but he's now 42 years old. He's not shown the form that he's been showing in the recent international games. He's gone one half century. Um, he's been playing in the CPL. I think he's, uh, you know, I don't have the figures in front of me, but. He's had about six or seven innings, had one score of 42, and then the other innings has 10, 12, 8, 15, those kind of scores. Um, you know, so I'm not sure the value is going to add um, to the 11 when they, they pick the final 11. Um, you know, you, 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 if they wanted to carry Chris Dale, um, they, they probably the, the, best, the best thing they could have done for him um, and for the team was to take him as a, as a mentor, take him, you know, the, the young fellas look up to him. So carry him on the team, sit down and talk to him and say, look, you're not going as a player, but I want you to come be there, be around the young players when they, they're having problems, they're not doing well, you can talk to them, etc. So I'm, I'm, you know, but having said that, I am not surprised he's been picked because the West Indies selectors, they, they obviously, 
they reached, they were, they were backed into a corner with Chris Gale. Because once you've started to kick in in all those international tours before, because um, we've had Sri Lanka, we've had Australia, we've had Pakistan, uh, we have had South Africa visiting the, the Caribbean during the past uh, three, four, five months. Um, and, and he was picked in all those series. So, so they backed themselves in a corner, basically. Um, and, and how do you now drop him? You know, because he's a senior play player, he's an icon, etc., etc. Um, but you know, so so it, it, that to me is one disappointment. Um, I didn't see O'Shane Thomas in the team because he's not, uh, even though playing for the Barbados Royals, he hasn't done badly in the first two games in terms of his bowling. Um, but, you know, he's another one that, you know, you, you've got to say, well, how has he found his place in the team? Because he's very inconsistent, not only in the CPL, but very inconsistent playing for the West Indies over the last few months. So he has also surprised me. Um, now, Ravi Rampol has had a wonderful Super 50 tournament um, earlier in the year for, for, for the Red Force, and I'm sure David was going to attest to that. Um, and he's really now performing very well for the TPR. Mm -hmm. So he has is, he is forced his way. He's told his electors, listen, you've got no option. And, you know, if you're picking people based on performances, then I'm putting my hand up. You know, I, I think he's dropped some weight as well. So, so in terms of his fitness, he's looking good. Um, and and I, I did, even though I considered him, I felt the selectors would not have gone back to him. But kudos to them on that selection. I think that, you know, he, 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 he forced his way. Roston Chase is another one who was not involved in the internationals at all uh, in terms of the T20. But he is performing wonderfully well for the for the uh, St. Lucia Kings. So he's another one that, that, that he forced the hand basically into picking him. So, you know, some of the, 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 the selections, yes. Some of the selections, um, I know a lot of people are not happy with Andre Fletcher, for example. Um, and and when, you, when you're not happy with, with it, it's okay for you to say, he shouldn't get picked or this one shouldn't get picked. Um, but then you've got to say, okay, who did? You know, my, my concern, and, and I, 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 the, the, Andrew Fletcher has not set the internationals alike. He had one big score for, for the St. Lucia Kings. Um, so he himself has been performed with distinction. But he's going at the second wicket keeper. He's not going to get into the final 11. But my point is, if you're looking for a second wicket keeper, then tell me a different name to Andrew Fletcher. Okay, tell me who will put up the hand as the second wicket keeper. Oh, and, and you go through the, 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 the CPL teams now, for example, and, and there are not very many of them will put their hands up. Dinesh Ramdin is keeping the TPR, but I've seen of late they've been, they've, been, they've been using the New Zealand at Kim Seifert. So, you know, there, 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 there are a lot of, of, of questionable selections, um, but then you've got to look at it and say, well, if not A, then who, who? Which, which is, who are you going to replace him with? But so, you see, you know, Mr. Murray, for me, uh, yeah. even though they have this wide variety of people on the team, I, I feel as though, you know, they can be molded to work together as a team, right? And I'm curious as to your opinion on Mr. Pollard's leadership as captain. Oh, oh no. Um, there's no doubt Pollard is the most exciting um, leader we have in the region. He's, uh, he, he, he knows when to attack, he knows when to pull back. Um, he tends to put the opposition under pressure, um, you know, once, once the bowlers, you know, um, as a captain, you've got to depend on your bowlers. You've got to, to, to sit, you've got to stand with your bowlers and say, look, this batsman, batsman A, he is showing a weakness with the ball on his pads. Now, if you don't have a bowler who can bowl the ball on his pads, you're in trouble as a leader because mm -hmm. you, you set your field based on, on your discussions with your bowler. So you, 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 you decide to bowl on the, the pads, you set your field based on that. You have five men uh, on the left side, basically, where the, where the bowler should be going. And the bowler runs up and bowls, bowls the ball wide outside the off stump. No protection, you get it for four. Okay, it's easy for the bowler to say, for you to say, well, it's a bad ball. But the captain also looks like an idiot because, you know, you, you, you first you say, well, what sort of field is you set there for the bowler? Um, but but Pollard is, is, is a, what I like about Pollard is proactive. 
He does not wait for things to happen. There are a lot of captains that wait on things to happen. Um, but he is proactive. He tries to make things happen. You know, he's always um, he's in the batsman space. You know, as a captain, you, you tend not to, uh, how, how should I put it? He, he goes in the field in the places like forward short leg, silly mid off, which for those of you who don't know cricket, uh, well, silly mid off, for example, it tells you it's a silly position to field um, because it's close to the batsman, any bad ball. Um, the batsman can certainly hit in your direction and you could be you could be in trouble. Yeah. That's why you, you're wearing helmets and things like that in front of the batsman now. So <clears throat> he, he's a very proactive captain and, 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 and I like Pollard. I think he's he's good for the game. You know, he's he's dynamic in terms of his leadership for, for the West Indies. We haven't seen that for for a little while. Um with Jason Holder, for example, that you know, I think he's unlucky not to get into the the T20 team, he's uh, he's a reserve. Yeah. Um, but he is he is not he's not a proactive captain, you know. Even now, um, and and I think when he leads a team as well, his his performance is not as good as when he's not a leader. He he is the type of, of player who needs to be led. In other words, um, they have some players that they they concentrate so much on their own performance mm -hmm. um, that leading the team takes so much out of them that it affects their performance. Now, now it also works the other way. There are some people who thrive on captaincy. I think uh, Pollard is one. He thrives on the captaincy. Um, many years ago, they, they, Clive Lloyd, when he became, he was a, he was a very ordinary player. Um, and when I say he was a very ordinary player, he was, he was scratchy, he was making runs, but not... Um, and when he became captain, when he became captain, he was transformed. You know, he, he, he thrives on the responsibility, etc. I think Pollard is like that. Jason Holder is not like that. For example, I, I, am, I think that eventually, and they need, they need to do it sooner rather than later, they need to take the captaincy away from him from the Barbados Royals because it's affecting his performance. And, and maybe the selectors looked at that and said, you know what, he's not performing well in the T20 tournament and, and that's why he didn't make the team. He didn't get into the, the, the World Cup squad. He got into the reserve. He won a one of the reserves. Yeah. So so you know Captain Caesar is is, is a is a thing that some players thrive on it, some don't. Colin does. He's a to me he's a very effective and, and dynamic type of leader. All right, so go ahead. Sorry, oh, sorry. Rio wanted to ask a question. Hi, I have a question because Hi. I was um, reading an interview that Darren Sammy did. And he said that he believes that um, Russell is actually going to come out with the most number of runs because of the type of player that he is. And what he's more looking at is who will be the player of the tournament. And he's saying somebody like Andre Russell, who bowls and bats and comes in on crucial times, will come out with that title. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. I think Russell will be, uh, he's, a, he's a very dynamic type of player. Um, we've got, we've got, Thankfully, we've got a few players like that, not only Andrew Russell, Pollard himself. Um, you know, Pollard could come in and, and be very destructive with the last six, seven overs to go in a, in a T20 game. He can be extremely destructive. Um, so, you know, Fabian Allen is another one that, that is extremely destructive. Um, Nicholas Puran and his day. So, you know, we've got some, you know, really dynamic players. Um, the, the, question is, well, which is always the, the problem with the West Indies, is, is the consistency. You know, one day we can make 240 in a, in a T20 game, and the next day we can be bowled out for 100. So, you know, it, it's a matter of, of all those players we, we, we call in, including Andrew Russell. You know, Andrew Russell will come in, as he did uh, earlier in the, in the tournament, in the CPL tournament, and make 50 off of 14 balls, or he can make north off of two balls. So, so, you know, he's a very destructive player. I think he's a, he is a big match player. He's a big yeah. tournament player, you know. But I think, uh, Mr. Murray, that, that seems to be the rule in all sports. You know, some days you perform well and yeah, some days yeah. you just don't. Agreed, agreed. Yeah. And, and, but, but Russell is a... He, I think he will be feared by the opposition. There's no doubt about it. But the good thing about it with the Western, the makeup of the Western side, he is not the only one that will be feared. Yeah. You know, um, as I said, Pollard... Uran, Fabian Ali, and all those players can in fact be, be on their day, be very destructive. So that's the, the beauty 
All right, well, we look forward to seeing their performance, and I thank you so much for joining us to give us this analysis of the of the team and, and our prospects going into the T20. No problem. And next time you're calling me, please, if you can wear a different shirt, I'll be excited. I'm, so, I'm sorry that Ten my shirt is intimidating you so much. It's, it's not, not intimidating me at all. It's not it doesn't intimidate <laughs> me at all. Not at all. It's just, a, it's just it doesn't look well. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look too well. That's all. Enjoy and David Fulong. 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 Of course, that's yes. what happened there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Murray, for joining us this morning. <laughs> there you have Colin Murray, former national cricketer and sports commentator, just giving us a nice analysis there of the West Indies team that's presented for the ICC T20 coming mm -hmm. up.